In this After Effects video, we're going to animate a city. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So we're gonna do something really cool. We're gonna be designing a cartoon city just like this. And we won't be designing this from scratch. You can check our links in the video description. And these are all free design files that you can download for absolutely free. Go ahead and check our links in the video description if you wanna follow along this video. And there's of course thousands of these type of vector templates that you can download for free for your own projects. So check those links in the video description if you wanna follow along with this video. But we will be animating this from scratch and there's a lot of elements here that you have to organize properly and being able to properly animate it to create a cool city animation, which is really fun to do. So, and if you're new to this type of animation, go ahead and check out our video that we made a few weeks ago on, on the basics of cartoon animation, which shows how to use Adobe Illustrator in After Effects. So the first part of this video, I do want to briefly talk about organization. So when you do download one of these type of project files, everything is kind of in as one layer. So what you need to do in Adobe Illustrator, if you have the software, is you need to organize each building into its own layer. So when we bring it to After Effects, it's completely organized. So here's a very quick rundown of what you would need to do in Adobe Illustrator if you download a free vector file from freepix.com. So what we need to do is isolate these objects into their own layers. When you open up one of these Illustrator files, you usually get one layer and then everything is inside this one you know, layer like this. So what we have to do is first create a new layer and then what we need to do is start selecting certain layers here. So usually you can open up these groups and you can see, hey, this car right here is in its own group. What we need to do is grab this group and bring that into its own layer over here. So this will tell After Effects, hey, this is its own After Effects layer. And I suggest renaming your layers as well so it makes things easy. And we'll come and we'll go through here and find specific groups and drag it into its own layers. And now we have our entire artboard layered out. You can see I got very detailed with this. We have 30 layers in this one artboard. So we're going to be able to animate each of these 30 layers individually inside of After Effects. And of course, when you're done, make sure to save your file and you should be good to go. If you need extra help on layering this, go ahead and check our last video on the basics of cartoon animation where we went into more detail on how to layer this properly with Adobe Illustrator. But essentially, if you put all these into their own separate layers, you're going to be able to animate them individually inside of After Effects. So now that we're ready, we can start animating our city. So when you have After Effects loaded, bring up your project file and bring it into After Effects by dragging it and this pop-up box will come up and it'll ask you import kind make sure it's selected to composition and click ok and then open up your city composition and you see that the resolution is just terrible so what we need to do here is we need to go to composition and click on composition settings and change the resolution to your preferred resolution so we'll do 1920 by 1080 and you can change your frame rate as well and click ok and from here, what we need to do is go up to layer, new, null object. And we can grab all of our layers and parent it to the null object, just like this. And hit S on your keyboard for scale, and we can scale this forward. And now, the resolution is worse. So what we're going to do here is select all of our layers. And we're going to click on the continuously rasterize icon, and boom. And now we have complete perfection in the pixels. So now we have our design in here and we can start animating our city. So, so perhaps we'll start with the cars because they're the easiest things to animate. We'll hit P on keyboard for position and we can move this green car back and we'll add a keyframe for position and we'll move forward, you know, for however long we want this to be. I'll animate this for nine seconds and we can animate our car to go across the screen like this. And then we'll come here to the yellow car and we'll do the same thing. And you can see that the layering is not perfect. So anytime you're in this situation, just make sure you relayer, you know, your layers here and, and then everything will stack appropriately. And then we can continue with this animation. So we might need to move this back. And we'll go to the end of our animation and we'll animate our car forward. So now we have two cars being animated just like this. It can be a little bit slow, but it's really up to you how fast you want this animation to be. So let's talk about our objects here, like our trees and lamp posts that we have isolated. So what I like to do is grab the pan behind tool here at the top, and we can grab the anchor point of whatever object you want to animate and bring it to the bottom. This is a cool little technique, and this will allow the object to animate around this point. And we can S on keyboard for scale. We got a keyframe for scale here. We can move the keyframe forward in time, and then set the scale down to 0%. And that tree will look like it's growing in from the ground just like that. And you can make both keyframes easy, ease keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard. And we can follow this animation along with our other objects as well. So now we have our two trees animating along with our cars. So let's say if you want to have control over, say, the tree here and also its trunk and be able to animate those separately. What you need to do, just select that layer, 
right click it go to create and click on create shapes from vector layer and this will create a shape layer out of the vector layer here and we can open up this shape layer and we go in the contents and we see that we have all the original groups from illustrator so we can hide these so we can turn that one off and boom there's the tree here's the trunk and here's just the you know the root of the tree so we can animate these individually if we want so we can come in here into say transform group three we can add a keyframe for scale move it forward and set it down to zero percent go into group two do the same thing maybe we'll do a scale animation or something continue with that and we'll set it down to zero percent and this is a great method to create your own shape layers inside of after effects when there aren't that many paths and groups so you can stay nice and organized within one shape layer so i'm going to move forward here and animate the cloud so i'm doing basic position keyframing so now i just did some very basic position animation with our clouds back here so we're getting a little bit more movement in our scene and what i'll do here with our left building is i'll grab the pan behind tool and we'll find that anchor point and maybe we'll put it to the left side of the layer here we'll hit r on keyboard for rotation we'll add a keyframe for it and maybe we'll do like a 90 degree like rotation like this you know it'd be kind of cool and then move forward here and we can set it down to zero degrees and we'll kind of just jump in there like that maybe we'll speed up this animation and we'll make both these keyframes easy ease keyframes by hitting f9 on our keyboard and maybe we want to add just a little bit of uh you know a little bit of a wiggle this to, to the end so what we do here is just have it pop back up and go back down to zero degrees moving this our building we have a nice little you know wiggle there at towards the end so that looks pretty nice and we'll do our right building the same thing maybe we'll do like you know the pan behind tool here directly in the center and we can just scale this one up so the keyframe forward in time and just scale it down to zero percent and we can do the same exact wiggle you know property there and make them all easy ease keyframes by hitting f9 on our keyboard so obviously we have a great way to animate our you know our elements in and out but what about you know the animations that take place in the middle what about like some wind property in here what about you know animating this flag here at the top or these trees what we can do here is we can come here to the puppet pen tool this is a very quick way to do some animation here and we grab the puppet pen tool we can grab our middle building i want to animate this flag what i'm going to do here is i'm going to click a point on the flag here and click that point at the top and then click a point in the center here so now and then i can come here and grab this layer and see i can animate this flag a little bit but the problem is i'm moving the building so we're just going to add a few more points to this to make sure this is going to be locked in place and you can add as many as you want but of course be strategic with it you don't want to add too many and now i should be able to, to animate this flag a little bit might need to add a point in that pool there but nice as i come here to the beginning and i can just pull this flag up can of course pull it down move it back up and now we're just getting a little bit of animation on this you know flagpole if you will the wind is blowing the flag a little bit so now you can see we have a little bit of animation on that flag just by using the puppet pen tool so this is how we can animate our scene and our other elements just in the middle here so we do the same thing with the tree and perhaps i'll grab our front tree here say if i just want to animate the you know the tree here just do the same thing add some points here to the bottom make sure everything stays into place and then we can add a point here at the top and we'll move forward here by a little bit and we can just say hey wiggle this way we'll go back we'll maybe we'll wiggle it this way so now we have these extra wind properties applied to this tree and it comes to life so now you have some really good techniques at your disposal to animate this entire city so obviously there's a lot of elements that go into the animating the city and if you have the patience and the time it's a lot of fun to do this but what if you're in a time crunch or perhaps this is a very repetitive work for you well so i have this plugin called animation composer and i'll drop a link in the video description if you want to learn more about this but essentially what this is is animation presets so i can go into one of these folders and i can go into a specific animation you know category here so let's say Say if I want to animate something and by using positioning and scale, I can click on something and see the preview over here. And that's exactly what the animation is going to be. So let's say that I like this balance and position scale one. I can grab an element that I haven't animated yet. Maybe we'll animate the middle building in. All I'll do is I'll click it, apply as in, and I can come here in the timeline and drag out the mark to increase the in animation. And now I automatically animated one of our buildings with literally just a few seconds. And obviously this technique can be applied to the in and out as well. So I can come here and apply it to as out and it'll be placed to the end of the composition and it'll be animated out just by a click and a drag just like that. 
so what is cool here, I can select multiple groups of elements here. And say if I want to grab all my trees, I can find a specific animation that I really like. So, And with all of our layers selected, I can play it as an in transition. And you see they're automatically applied just like that. Pretty cool. And we come here to more tools. We come here to transition shifter. And I can stagger all of our layers by 5 frames so by inputting that and click on do. And all of our transitions are staggered by five seconds so they don't come in at the same time. That's pretty cool. And now just within a minute or two, I've been able to animate the in transitions of this entire scene. And by using the plugin Animation Composer, which has over 1,000 of these presets, and I'll drop the link in the video description if you wanna learn more about Animation Composer. And make sure to turn on Motion Blur for all your layers and turn it on the top. And, and obviously you can animate this all on your own. No problem, just takes a little bit more time. So there is our cartoon animated city. It's very easy to do and a lot of fun. So I hope you guys were able to take away some really neat techniques from this video. If you guys did, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sun Like Film. We post two post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. Hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description. And always be creating.